Yeah, welcome to Faith and Grace Life. And today is the fifth day of the new year, the fifth day of our 40 days walk of faith and grace. And in this series, our focus is on faith and grace because we want us to start the new year and the new decade with God and it takes faith and it takes grace to perfect it. I don't want us to miss it this year. So today being the fifth day we want to look at what I call the gospel of grace. The gospel of grace. Let me start by asking us this question. What is the meaning of the gospel? What is the gospel? Gospel is simply good news. In other words, it's the news that is good. If you are if you are looking for any good news and you are trying to check it out on CNN or, or Al Jazeera or any of the networks, you can't get any good news there. You are actually going there for, to, to hear bad news. There in the world, it is bad news, but in the gospel, it is called good news because the news is good, and that's the only place. You can have good news. And what is this good news all about? What is the good news of Jesus Christ about? Let me take us to the scripture and take a look at two or three scriptures. Then we will be convinced about the true meaning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The true focus, the true the content of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please turn with me to the book of Acts. Yes, let's go to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 20. Let's take the first scripture from there. Acts chapter 20. Let's look at verse 24. Let's look at verse 24 of the gospel of the, the book of Acts. And I read, it says, But none of these things move me. Nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus, to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. This Apostle Paul, you know, with the elders of the Ephesian church when he was departed from them. And maybe I, I, I can take it from, just take it from verse 22 for us to really see part of the context. Verse 22, And see, now I go bound in the spirit to Jerusalem, not knowing the things that will happen to me then, except that the Holy Spirit testifies in every city, saying that shames and tribulations are with me. But none of these things move me. Verse 24, Nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify. See, he, he understands his purpose and his calling. And he received a ministry from the Lord to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. So the gospel that Paul was preaching the gospel which is the gospel of our lord jesus christ is the gospel of grace of god is the gospel of grace apostle paul says i'm not ashamed of the gospel of our lord jesus christ for it is the power of god unto salvation you know this is the same gospel he's talking about the gospel of jesus christ is the gospel of grace of god amen so that it, it is the good news of the grace of god that is why it is called the gospel that is why it is called the good news you know everything about the grace of god is they are all good news you know it, all the promises all the favor because it talks about favor it talks about the blessing it talks about you know uh, the prosperity it talks about all the good things that christ has brought for us things we do not earn, what we do not even desire, and that's all that grace is all about. 
And that is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the good news of the grace of God. You can see why it is called good news. Yeah. Then it shows another scripture. Let's, talk, let's, check, let's look at um, the book of Galatians. Let's look at the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter... Uh, let's look at Galatians chapter 1. Let's look at Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 let's take it from verse 6 for us to be able to see some truth about the gospel there if truly the gospel of jesus christ is the gospel of grace allow us to see galatians chapter 1 from verse 6 it says i marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who call you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel which is not another but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ but even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you let him be accursed as we have said before so now i say again if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what we have received let him be a cause i think this is a very strong a strong passage a strong statement made by apostle paul and that should convince us and that should we should ask ourselves maybe you're a minister of god Maybe you're a pastor, you're a preacher of the gospel. Which gospel do you preach? Apostle Paul tells us here that this gospel, he said in verse 6, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel. In other words, the gospel of Christ is the gospel of grace. And if you preach any other thing, <laughs> I'm afraid there is a cost place on it. Apostle Paul said, even if himself should preach any other cross, uh, any other gospel, any other good news different from the gospel of grace, he said, let him be accursed. You know, when we look at the Christian body today, there are a lot of things we hear about. Christianity and the body of Christ and what pe what men of God preach or what people preach. You know, I'm not here to criticize anything or anybody, but to bring, draw our attention to what the gospel is, the gospel of Christ. What is it? It is the gospel of grace. I want to, let, let me show us some other version, you know, of the Bible, the translation of the Bible. Maybe that, that, that will make you know us to really appreciate what we are talking about let's look at um, I'll, I, I will look at the amplified first and then the passion translation you know it, okay let's look at the passion translation it said from verse 6 of the passion translation of the bible it said i am shocked i am shocked over how quickly you have strayed away from the anointed one who called you to himself by his loving mercy. I'm frankly astounded that you now embrace a distorted gospel that is a fake gospel. That is simply not true. There is only one gospel, the gospel of the Messiah. Yet you have allowed those who mingle law with grace to confuse you with lies listen to verse 8 anyone who comes to you with a different message than the grace gospel that you have received will have the cause of god come upon them for even if we or an angel appear before you to give you a different gospel that was than what was we have already proclaimed God's cause will be upon them. Can you see the depth of um, what Apostle Paul was trying to emphasize? 
that is to show to us that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is the gospel of grace and there is no other gospel than the gospel of grace which Christ has posed for us and this by the grace of God will, will definitely we are going to emphasize this more you know as we go on in this uh, 40 days to let us come back to the real gospel the gospel of Jesus Christ the gospel of God the gospel of grace and we dare not we dare not turn to another gospel even as we can see all over the whole place today my prayer is that all of us we all believers will be able to act in to this we want us to start this year with the grace of God we want to enjoy this grace my prayer is that every one of us listening maybe you are a man of God or you are a child of God you are a Christian I want to encourage you to embrace the gospel of grace the gospel which Jesus Christ brought for us the gospel which was to Paul priest the gospel that we have here Apostle Paul said look the Bible says this is the Spirit of God speaking through him that if you preach another gospel beside the gospel of grace which is the gospel of Jesus Christ there is a cause my prayer is that the cause of hell will not be born the blessing which Christ has brought for us we continue to manifest in your life manifest in your family manifest in your ministry manifest in all that God has given you in this new year it is well with you join me tomorrow as we continue with this gospel we need to look more into what other areas of this gospel of grace of this faith and grace message that we are bringing to us god bless you see you tomorrow